everyone. Today we're doing a page flipperoo. That's right, Pam at the Paper Outpost here showing you how to do a page layout. And we're going to do a flip. And this opens. And what we're basically do made is two pockets. We've got a big pocket here and a big pocket here made out of two envelopes. Very easy supplies most people can get a hold of. Uh, so rummage around in your cupboards, take a look to see if you can find two different sized envelopes. Um, this will also work with the same size envelope. I just wanted to show you what it looked like with two different sizes, so you can see the, the nesting. Okay, and all right, so this is the prototype and what I've decided to do is I'm working in two journals. I'm going to pre-make one so I can show you what done looks like and then I'm going to make one with you the exact same kind in another journal so I can go through the process with you. So there we go. There's the process. All right, so let me just show you this a little closer. I put, of course, stickles all over this stenciled uh, envelope and I've used one of these little circle tabs we made the other day and you flip that open. And I put a uh, Michigan lottery from 1972 uh, ticket on here, a sticker, some little um, rabbit feet. I think they're rabbit feet. Uh, this is a cigar band. And um, this is lined, uh, the inside of this envelope is lined with a book page. And I'll show you how to do that quite easily so you don't get frustrated over trying to get it in there and all that. And the bigger uh, envelope is on the back and I've done some uh, antiquing around the edges with different colors uh, and I'll show you how to do the multi colors to bring out more of an effect. Some stamping, a little bit of stickles on there for the centers of the leaf and outlining the top of this uh, envelope flap here and a little bunny stamp there. Um, okay so let's get to it. This is very easy. And here we go. So closing it up this way. All right. Just so you know, you could also do the design so that you close it up this way, depending on how you uh, decide to do the closure and decorate it. So just options. Options are always nice, right? Okay. So there we go. I put the tab here to show that this opens. That's the reason why I put that there. Okay. And let's get to it. Okay. So I'm just going to put this over here. So for reference purposes, because uh, old granny here sometimes forgets. <laughs> I'm, I'm the granny. Um, okay. So Let's take a look. We're going to work in this book today. And first thing we got to do is uh, pick out a page. So I think, um, well, we'll pick out a page after. How about that? I'll pick out the page once we're done. Okay. So we've got envelope number one and envelope number two up on deck. Okay. Here we are. And I'm not too worried about having some ink on one because I'm going to be doing a lot of things to them anyway. So the way that we're going to do this outside first. And we need our pinky inky. So let's get that cruising. I'll find my pink. Here it is. I swear I cleaned up my desk yesterday and it's already full. It's already full, people. That's how fast it happens. It happened faster than that. It actually happened last night. So I'm just going around the edges of this envelope. And knowing how I put this in there, it's going to be like this. And um, this side I don't need to decorate because actually it's going to be like this because this flap is going to stick down. Okay. So um, I don't need to color this flap on the back. Okay. So any, everything else needs to have uh, ink on it. Okay. So I'm inking. Apparently I can't ink and talk at the same time. All right. Ink it, 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 ink Ink -ink. Okay, so I don't need to do this part. Okay, but I, I'm going to cover this part and the inside here, so I don't need to worry about that yet. But um, I would like to, let me just borrow this ink in here at the edges. So I'm just going to do this old trick. Okay. And I'm going to emphasize the lines in the envelope, the way it's constructed, because I like that look. I think it, um, instead of fighting the fact that it's an envelope, I want to emphasize it and celebrate it. Um, found that's much easier in the long run than trying to pretend it's not an envelope and make it look like something else. I think it's kind of cool that we use envelopes. Okay. All right. So now, uh, let me just oh, make sure everybody's inked. Yes, we are good. Okay. Roger that. Moving on, we have a piece of, this is a botanical book page that I grabbed out of a book. And I think it's been coffee dyed, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't matter because we're going to ink it anyway. So it's okay. So basically what you want to do is you want, let me see what the size of this one is. This might be the right size. Yeah, it's going to be just a little bit smaller, a little bit narrower than your envelope. Okay. So what you want to do then is once you have that cut out, which I, I like the words on top, but I think I'm going to lose them on the cut. Let's see. Let's go in for a check. See. I'll lose him anyway, so we'll go with the, pink, the little flower. He's kind of cute. He'll stay. All right, then 
kind of decide where we want them. We slide them in nice and easy. Now, bef now what we want to do is just make sure that the tip is covered. We need that tip covered there, okay, of the envelope. And then you turn it over and you grab your handy dandy glue stick of your choice. And whoop, actually turn this over. And you want to uh, glue this side. Yes, glue your envelope because your envelope has the dimensions that you're going to need. Okay, got that done. Stick that down. And we're moving and we're moving. Okay, now we're going to trim this off, which is pretty easy to do. You just follow the envelope line. And even if it's not exact, it's okay. So you can always retrim or, or something like that, but I think it's going to be, it's, it's not hard cut to do. So there, you're done. Now the only thing is you want to mush it out, get it nice and flat. And let's say, okay, it doesn't go quite over to the edge there. When we're going to ink around, we can use ink to uh, buff in there and it'll be harder to see that it didn't go all the way to the edge. Okay. So now we're going to fold on the crease because we need that crease. Okay. And now we're going to ink that. Ink the outside of this envelope flap. Okay. See that little area there? I'm just going to really heavily ink it. And there you can't even see. Gonzo. Yep. Coming around the mountain. Blowing off oddballs. <laughs> okay. I'm going to fold this back and I'm going to ink this line because it always looks nice when that's inked too. Okay. Got that? Okay, so one other inking we're going to do here is I'm just going to take a little um, vintage photo, which is a brown, and I'm just going to lightly, I'm going to do two color inks here. So I'm going to do a little bit of brown over the uh, pink because this is going to be laying on the other envelope and I want there to be a sharp contrast there. And um, now I'm just going to kind of go around the edges a little bit on where the corners are to give it a little bit more of a vi vintage look here. So this is a vintage nature book that I'm working in. All right. And maybe just a little hue there too. Okay. That looks kind of cool. Like you could even like go that, 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 that there, just like light dusting, light dusting people. Okay. There we go. Very good. Very good. Oh, and also take this and go very lightly over this. That's right. Just to kind of take the whiteies away. You don't have to, um, but I'm, the, the look I'm going for, I would like to do that. So it's giving me that little bit more of a vintage shabby chic sort of nature look. Okay. Next, we are going to um, put some uh, decorations on here and let's do that. So let me grab some. Hang on. Okay, I found three little items that I would like to add on here. I found a little bird, another cigar band, and a bingo uh, card that looks, it's supposed to look like a bingo card. Okay, so let me just go ahead and pop these down on here. And I got a lot of these uh, cigar bands. I forgot about it. I forgot I had them. Does that happen to you? That happens to me all the time. I, I really, you know, when you don't, can't see it, it's as if it doesn't exist, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's why it's important we go through our drawers and our um, collections all the time because we will be surprised at what we actually have. Okay, I've already gone around and inked this little bird because I thought I was going to use it before, but I didn't. Let me just glue him up and we will slap him down. How do you want to sit? You want to sit right there? Okay, yeah, you just made it with your tail on. You're lucky, boy. Yeah, you are lucky. And this guy might be a sticker, so let's give it the old... Not that try. I'll try over here. I'll try three times. Okay, it's not working, so I'm just going to glue it. I'm just going to glue it. All right, here we go. I'm gluing. I don't know if it is a sticker or not. It could be, but, you know, sometimes it's just not worth the fight, and I'm thinking, why am I peeling it off to stick it and, and taking an hour to get this thingy off, and then I could just stick it <laughs> anyway. So here we go. Oh, yeah, I wanted to ink that, didn't I? Okay, let's just ink a little bit around. Yeah, just, just, just a hair. Okay, and we're good, and we're slapping down, and we're down. Okay. There we go. So now on prototype, I had the look like this and I had some little random bunny feet going through there, but I'm going to do something on this one as well, but it's not going to be bunny feet. It's going to be birdie feet. I've got one of these with birdie feet on it and I got this uh, from, whoop, lost the thing, uh, Nora something on Etsy, but I will try and get the name and put the link down below for you. So uh, if you like these, you can check these out too, because they're kind of cool. I, I, I've never used these actually, but um, I think they're going to be kind of cool. Here we go. Yeah, that's kind of cute. See, you know, with the bird and everything, isn't that cute? Okay. 
Oh, this was a crazy little bird. There we go. Well, there, okay. Well, I was confused there at the end. He hopped around in one spot. Um, okay, so there's got, I've got my bird down. And I think I need a little more glue. And sometimes this is the guy you need to come in for the tiny save. Now the tiny save because he's got the little metal nubber, which is perfect for these little tiny areas. Sometimes it's hard to get the, the big um, Fabrifix in there or the glue stick obviously is a little cumbersome there, but that will work just fine. So we are, we are almost halfway home. Gonna flip it over. And now we're gonna work on this side. And this looks complica complicated and audacious, but really it's pretty easy. We're gonna go for a two-tone stencil look. And I used pink and brown that time. And I, I'll, I'll just stick with that. But basically I just lay my stencil down and um, you can get a lot of really inexpensive stencils on eBay. If you go, like, if you look up stencils and then you look up least expensive or lowest price, whatever it is. And um, that's green, put that down, Pam. Um, and uh, I mean, sometimes they're almost, phew, I don't wanna say close to free, um, but yeah, pretty cheap. So, um, and they just seem to be fine as far as I'm concerned. So I've ordered a bunch of them and uh, I love having a little variety with the stencils because I use stencils a lot. And uh, if I can get more stencilage, that's okay with me. Okay, we're halfway home there. We need just a little bit more here. And we'll do just like a little pinky row down here. There we go. Oh, perfect. Okay, so now um, this one did have stickles on it, but I'm gonna wait to the very end because I have to turn this over and this is gonna be wet. So. I'm, I'm ahead of the game here by figuring that out with myself. <laughs> okay, one last thing is I do need a little tab. So I will pull out one of those circles. Okay, I have this little collection of circles. That's kind of cute. It's going to go, that's going to stick down this come over. So this will be over here. That's kind of cute. I like that little, it's very different. It's, um, it catches the eye because it's, Black, black always uh, draws drama and distinction and uh, it's always nice to use a little bit of black in your designs to anchor them. Okay, so I'm going to put this here and then we are pretty much done this section. Just a little bit of glue, doesn't take much. Less is more with the glue, put the tab on, wipe any glue excess off because we're neat as buns here, yes. But as in bunny, that's bunny. <laughs> All right, so we have this handled. So let's put that aside and then let's pull out the big mambo. And uh, okay, just a quick refresher here, what, what it looks like. This is what it looks like. So that's what we're aiming for. So let's go ink around like we did on uh, now. I used a green, I used forest moss. Um, where's my green, there it is. My green dauber, okay. Uh, so uh, this is going to show, uh, well, no, actually, this is not going to show up here because I'm going to cover the inside with a book page. But so these edges and this I'm going to ink now. And I'm inking. And I'm inking. And it was very foggy here this morning. It was one of those pea soup days. You know, when you think the, the world is gone, you open your door and there's nothing. There's like literally nothing when you look out. It's kind of freaky. Uh, looks like a, a horror movie or something. But uh, nope, nope, the world was there the whole time. Everything was fine just emphasizing those and um, let me get in here and just do these little guys with a little assistance from this book page book pages are coming so handy okay here we go okay there we go got you over there too get you over there okay now with this one uh, does is not going to show on the back because the entirety of this back is going to be glued down to the journal page so we don't have to worry about the back at all but what I did with this one is I did use a double color a two color um, inking to emphasize the distressing to make it a little bit more antiqued and vintage so just heavy around the corners um, an occasional dab here and there not everywhere but just as if it has been handled a little bit okay so now I'm going to take the green and I'm just going to lightly kind of come in and take up some of that white. Maybe not all of it, just some maybe in the corners, just a little bit uh, haloing. I'm haloing, I call this. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the brown, maybe like a big thumb, you know, kind of went here, down this, a little bit there. 
there. I'm kind of I'm going to cover this, so I'm not. Yeah, why why did I even stick that thing in there? I didn't need to do that. Okay, um, okay, even better. <laughs> a, fa a faster way to make it. Okay, back with the green hewing hewing. Okay, getting more nature colors going. Now we need our paper, and I have one pulled out. Where did I put it? Here it is. Okay, so I, I, if you remember, we made a college algebra journal the other day, and here's the guts of that book. It's some um, cool um, formulas and things like that. I thought they looked kind of neat. So basically what we're going to do, so we're, okay, remember our page is going to sit like this. So I want my writing to read upright. So I've got my writing upright. Let me cover this, clear the decks, and uh, now I'm going to, where's my tearing ruler? Right here, right here at the ready. Yep. Okay, put my little daubers over there. All right, so what we want to do is decide what part of the paper we want to show. And I think I'm going to want, remember, we just want to go smidge in from the corner so you can tuck it in easily and smidge in from the corner so you can tuck it in easily. No fighting. All right, here we go. Tear that. And then we tear that. And I think we're now this is pretty big. I don't want it that let's take the top off because that's going to have to come off. We know that because I want font there and the is it I can make it a little deep. It doesn't have to go all the way to the bottom of your envelope. Um, and sometimes it's easier if it doesn't for you to get in there. Oh, I hope I didn't make it too short. Did I? Oh, mother. Let me get another one. Hang on. <laughs> don't do that. Okay. Do it. <laughs> don't do as I say. <laughs> do exactly the opposite. Okay. Remember that it's got to come out to here. That's right. So, yeah. Okay. It's got to come out to here. So now let's think about this. Why? Because it's got to cover all the... I'm uh, doing a video, babe. <laughs> And he retreated back into his office. Um, was probably about food, but I think he'll make it. Okay, so look at me. I'm not even going to measure this. So I'm just going to use the edge of the envelope to be my guide. Not even using the pencil. I'm really going bold. Okay, I did that. Okay, now this one, same thing. Just the edge of the envelope. And, well, be better at tearing. These old book pages uh, are so uh, um, fragile, you know. Oh, we're going to have to pull out the scissors for this guy. All right. Just pretend that never happened. Okay. And now we can go all the way up to here, but we want... Let's tuck them in and see where we're at. All right. Now let's flip them over for the test. There's the test. Okay. And we got lots of text there, so that's good. So now we're going to open it and grab our glue stick and just glue this. And really, that's all you need to do. You don't need to glue all the way down into the thing. Um, it's not going to come out because that's stuck. Okay, flip it over. I'm going to do the trim. So you're basically doing the same concept on two different size envelopes. So once you do the first one, then you're going to be more confident to do the second one. This is an easy project. And did I say anybody can do it? Anybody can do it. And believe me, if I can do it, anybody can do it. All right, so we need a little more glue here. Pam shorted us. All right, just want to make sure your tip is really covered. That's very important. Yeah, then you shouldn't have any problems. Okay, now we're going to hide all our ills with the inking. So first we're going to fold, get our nice crease, and then we're going to get our green going, and maybe a little bit of brown there too, because just like um, hopping with the brown makes it look more weathered as opposed to another straight line. Uh, okay, now we're going to ink this up. Now I have one of those areas again. See the area? I'm just going to heavily ink it. Come here. I need more ink. I'm going to heavily ink it. I need ink to do that. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Inking. 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 Okay. So I have that. Now I'm going to highlight with the brown. Find the brown. Here's my brown. All right. Now I know that the tip I want inked. Okay, then maybe just bounce it about here a little bit. A little hodgepodge. You can kind of rotate your guy. I'm covering that up really well. Very well disguised. All right, going good. Okay, so now the next step is, let me show you a prototype again. Uh, we put some uh, stamps on it uh, with a little bit of stickles. So let's take a look at that possibility here. And I have a, a milieu of... Um, milieu why do i keep using that word lately i have no idea um anyway i have a nice little oak stamp and i thought i'd play with this um you know somebody asked me the other day where did i get my peg stamps and i went and looked it up and i got, I got lost <laughs> shopping in there and i ended up buying a whole more stamp so thanks a lot <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm just going to get a nice flat surface that'll stamp better. You have to, these are not that deep, so you want to make sure it's a nice flat surface. Otherwise, you're going to get the little um, circles from the peg stamp shape. It looks like I get about two stamps, and I got to, and rotating the stamp it increases eye appeal. I don't really have to do down here much because this is going to be primarily covered, but you could do a little around the edges, you know, because those will show. Okay. Okay. That's a heavy fall day, apparently, on this guy. All right. There we go. All right, so that was pretty easy, right? Okay. Now. Okay, so now we are going to put it in the book. So I've got envelope A and envelope B. And here comes the rocket science. Hold on to your hats. Oh, that's kind of pretty. No, I think I want more contrast. I like to see the contrast between this color and the back. It doesn't have to be strong, but it has to be present. That's a contender. So you're looking for a page. That's too busy, I think. Yeah, and too creamy. We want something either brownie or whitey or... Well, let's see what we got. What we got? Oh, yeah, you might go. Okay, yeah, I like you. Yeah, that's a nice contrast. Here we're doing leaves and nature on a very accounting style ledger sort of page. And I think that's a good contrast. So I'm going to go with that. All right, so now I'm just going to glue it down. And I'm going to use the art glitter glue for this. Can you see that? I hope I've been in frame. I got all excited here. Hang on, let me look. I think so. Let me slide down a little bit. Let me make sure I'm in. Okay, sorry if I was out. Um, okay, squeeze. Going around the mountain. This is how it's done, or at least I do it this way. You can do it any old way you want. There you go. Ba -ba -da. Okay, so the most thing to pay attention to is orientation and how, where you want to put it. I'm going to put a little lower on the page just because. And I have to make sure my page is wide enough to accommodate my envelope. Make sure you check for that in the beginning. Okay. All right. So we have that. Oh, did I forget to deck? Oh, yeah. I got to decorate that. Look at that. I knew I forgot something. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not too late. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to put this here and we're going to decorate it right in this place that it is. Here we go. And this was basically, I just made green. Just made it greeny green. Greeny green. A little more heavier green on the edges. Green. Okay, then I took the brown. Yep. And I took the brown. Going to town with the brown. Whoops. Okay. Just inking. Just random ink. Good on the tip. And then like a random splotchle everywhere else. Okay, now I do kind of want to get that back edge. It'll be a little trickier now that I have it in, but we're going to give it yep, the old try. Let's stick this in. It is thinner. There we go. Let's try this. Oh, good grief. There we go. Okay. Yeah, perfect. All right. Uh, perfectly imperfect, right? Yay! That was the goal the entire time. And I had one stamp on there, and I thought, well, let me see. Let me try just a different thing. Oh, oh. I have an acorn and that goes with the, the oak leaf, right? So we'll just go with that theme. All right, ink, rub, don't rub. I don't know, rub if you wanna rub, go for it. Um, I can hear the toes curling from here. I can hear them. <laughs> okay, uh, this is going down. Okay, got a little edge rim there. So you can you can like wipe this off before you stamp. That would probably be the wise thing and you're not gonna have that issue, but I didn't think of that till later, so that's okay. Um, so anyway, I have that. See that so far? Just give you a little close up. Yeah, 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 okay. And actually, I think I'm gonna, looks like I knocked this down a bit. Oh, I rode over a little bit with the brown, so it wasn't quite so starky. There, more aging. A little more aging always brings a new look to things. Okay, so now we're going to, where are we on time? I'm gonna even look, okay. Um, okay, here we're gonna do that. I'm gonna take it to the edge, this edge to this, to this edge of this envelope, or this one's gonna go a little further that way. Um, either is fine. Um, you could actually do it right up to here. That would be cute too. There's nothing like that, but just make sure that you can close this one. So you wanna make sure it's translated this way enough so that you can close it. Okay, so. Pretty simple here. We're just going to slap this pup down. And things are looking really good. Hmm. 
So maybe this is a way I can complete two journals at once, showing you guys some tips and tricks and, um, you know, getting to play in my journals too, which is sort of fun. Okay, so we're going this way. Right, you just make sure you're the right orientation. Things are looking up, right? Make sure you put it in the right spot. Now this glue grabs kind of fast, so make your decision and be, be live with it. <laughs> so I say gotta live with it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so I am pretty much done this one. So I have a nice um, big pocket here and I have a nice big pocket here made out of the envelopes. And um, you know, you could do any little envelopes on top of this and things like that, but I'm just gonna show you this basic construction with two easy envelopes, one smaller, one bigger, and they close up like that. This gives the indication that this opens. And I think what I will do is I have enough time to stickle the outside of this, so I will show you that. Uh, all right, there's no stickles. Okay, here you are. All right, uh, I used a different stickle on that one. That was like a, okay, this one will be fine. Let's use this one. <laughs> you know how I like to change my mind the last minute. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. I need to look at the screen more. Okay, so I'm just going to, um, can you see? Let me check a little closer. Okay, so I am just going to go around the outlines here. Maybe give him a couple eyes. That's cute. And then do, 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 You have to make that noise. Do, 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 do. It can turn into a song. Do, 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 Hey, hey, hey. The next thing you know, you are done. So I am, oh, I got a little tail there. Okay. Stickles, when they're still wet, you can, it's almost like you can just wipe them away. If you make a big bluebird down there that was unintentional, um, you just wipe it away. Can you see that? Nope. Okay. Um, okay, here we'll go around this one. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four. Wahoo, Doris. Wahoo, Doris. Da, da, da. Okay, I lost the tune. Uh, anybody recognize that one? Hmm, I'll bet you do. Is it Doris? Like, is it Doris? Or is it not uh, like one of those non words that they're just playing with me? I don't know. Hey, can I? Yeah, you can see. Okay, I'm going to do this little guy. Just stickle him up, give him some attention. I know you're small and halfway in the picture here, but you want to be seen too. Oh, you do too? Okay, we'll give you some body and some wingage here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'll try and, try and do another rendition of it. Oh, looped it. Okay. Well, yeah. Close enough. All right. All right. Okay. There we go. Ho, ho, ho. All right. And I'm going to turn it, see if you still see me. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to do this big, these little guys over here. Do, do, oh, time check. Oh, we're good. Okay. Go, go, Pam. Do, do, do. Do 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 Don't get sloppy now, because you're rushing. Okay. Okay. There's a new dot there. Okay. And we got this little guy. He's actually a big guy. Okay. Yeah, it's important when you do the stickles to lift up. And that way you don't get that little tail drag across. Alright, so yeah, get rid of you. I'll put one down while I'm taking one away, huh? There you go. All right, there we go. So remember that if you do goof the stickles, you can wipe them off if you if they're still wet. And stickles stay wet much longer than the Nouveau drops. Um, so just FYI, you've got more uh, opportunity to wipe away and recreate with the stickles, but then you do have to set it aside for drying time or you will be sorry. <laughs> okay, ready? Oop, yep, okay. Just going up the center here. Boop, be doop. And we are really coming around the mountain here. And I would say things are looking like finito. Yeah, I'll put one on it there. Now I am gonna go ahead and stickle just the individual, oh, let me back up so you can see. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna stickle the individual leaves on this side, but since this is still wet, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna do the ones that you can see. So you can just see me do it. Okay. I'm just going to put a dot on each leaf just to give it a little sparkle. Not necessary, but just for fun. And there we go. So um, this is page layout using two envelopes. 
a simple design. There's a million and one things we can do with envelopes. So um, look forward to more envelopes. Uh, look forward to more napkin ideas. I got a lot of good feedback on the napkin video. People seem to like to work with napkins and there's like a million things you can do with napkins. So we got lots of videos of that coming for, uh, headed your way soon. So I hope you like this idea. It was very fun and very easy to make. It uses up a whole book page and uh, we will carry on from here. So please like, subscribe and share if you find value here. Um, all my links below. If you're looking for any items, I try and list everything below for easy access for you. They're my Amazon affiliate links. What else? Um, uh, we have the uh, uh, podcast. The podcast is going. Uh, I think I'm up to episode, I want to say three or four right now, and I've got more in the pipeline coming soon too. So we'll look out for more podcasts. It's the Paper Outpost, um, The Joy of Junk Journaling, and you can listen to it on Spotify or go to Anchor. Uh, you'll Anchor FM, you'll find it there, or just go to the clickable link below. It'll take you right to the episodes. It's free to listen to. And um, you can subscribe to that if you're interested. And uh, then you'll be notified every time I put up a podcast. Um, also have the Instagram, the Pinterest, and the Twitter. I'm tweeting. And um, still, I still can't get over that. <laughs> I resisted tweeting for so long. I thought it was the most ridiculous thing in the world. Now I love it. I can't, I can't stop tweeting now. Um, okay, what else? Um, that's pretty much it. This is a, a wonderful time of the year. And I'm very, very thankful and appreciative for all of you. And um, my real uh, joy and purpose of being here is to spread the word that fun can be simple and just want to remind everybody to create with reckless abandon. Things don't have to be perfect. It just has to be fun first and everything else com that comes after that is just icing on the cake. So, um, you know, have an amazing day. Get your crafting time in. Um, it's your little special time for yourself where you can uh, express and uh, uh, just just have fun and there's no judging just play um, I hope to see some of your stuff on the Facebook page and I will be talking to you soon everybody have an awesome day take care bye bye